Okay, I want to make a video here, uh, kind of to do a little follow-up on a lecture that this man right here did during his time here with us. He's actually, he passed away in 2020. Uh, his name is Walter E. Williams. And he had a lecture called The Legitimate Role of Government in a free society and he had some very good points that he made during his speech but I th I want to make a follow-up on what he was saying because he didn't really make it very clear what his solutions were uh, I didn't really catch up on uh, uh, catch what his solutions kind of were until the question and answer period of one of his uh, YouTube videos of his uh, speech and so this video I'm going to go over that solution now he says that it, the legitimate role of government in a free society has very basic things that it must do in fact our Constitution only grants 21 things that Congress has authorization to do or to spend government spending on okay and one of those things is to protect you and I from international thugs trying to come into the country and violate our private property rights and when he says private property he means that in the broadest sense possible which means you are your private property I am my private property and you have your private property of materials, machines, and you know your physical material private property, your land private property. Everybody has their personal private property, and their bodies are their personal private property. And the legitimate role of government is to protect us from international thugs trying to violate any one of those properties. So one of the roles the government should have should have a some sort of a military and navy service for the country to for our protection now the second role of a government in a free society is to protect you and I from domestic thugs trying to violate our private property rights so that means on some basic level we need to have police services domestically to protect us from each other from violating our private property rights. Now, there are other things that government can do spending on that's listed in the Constitution, but it doesn't say anything about bailouts. It doesn't say anything about welfare. It doesn't, well, it doesn't say anything about um, Social Security, I mean. Uh, it, it does mention welfare, but it, it there's so much that the government spends on on a yearly basis that is not authorized by the Constitution. In fact, the total amount of government spending is now up to three quarters of what the GDP is for the entire country over the year. So if we look at the GDP for our country... Our country GDP in 2019 was 21,380 billion dollars. So 21 trillion dollars just over was the GDP for 2019. 2021 it says 25 and a half trillion dollars for the GDP for 2022. So government spending is now up to 3 quarters of what that number is. Th three quarters of twenty-five and a half trillion dollars is what government spending is. And that amount of government spending is outrageous. That is government spending that has run amok. The, the there's there's a lot of government spending that just goes missing sometimes or most of the time in the Department of Defense. Like there's all these government departments that just lose their budget money sometimes and they have no idea where it went it just disappeared 
So that is the problem that we have today. Government spending has run amok. It never was supposed to be auth government was never supposed to be authorized to have this much capability of spending. And what the government does to get this amount of much government to for government spending is they have legalized theft. They have legal the government has a legalization of theft from taking taxing us for our hard earned money and they take it force they force it from us or you go to jail pretty much. You you must pay your taxes or you go to jail. Okay? That's another problem with our government system. People were never supposed to be forced into compliance by our government, and if you're not for, and if you can't be forced into compliance, then you're like cut off. That that's where our that's where our country is headed. They're gonna someday they're gonna completely try to control everybody's universal basic income. They're gonna control like everything that you have access to when it comes to communication through technology. They're trying to control access through transportation by means of automatic drivers. And soon, by 2024, they're going to have mandatory breathalyzing tests for any impaired driving. All, all new cars, as of 2024, have to have these in them. It's, it's a requirement that they have these te breath tests for impaired driving now for all new vehicles. So they're going to they control electronic communication. They're trying to control transportation, and they're trying. And as soon as they get control over food consumption, then we have basically lost this battle of our liberties and freedoms to our own government. At that point, once they have taken over control of food consumption, transportation, and all electronic communication then the country is pretty much in total in enslavement. Now, the solution to, to most of these problems is that government spending was never supposed to be unlimited the way it is. Just the very fact that our debt ceiling for the United States has been suspended should be a big red flag that government spending has run way too much of a muck and is out of control. Just the very fact that our debt ceiling has been suspended should be a big clue that we got a problem with government spending. Now, the solution for this was that government spending should have a limitation to a certain percentage of the country's GDP, its yearly GDP. And I believe Walter Williams, he said that he was trying to fight for like 14%, 15%, something like that. He said government spending needs to be limited to like 10 or 15% of what the country's total GDP is for the entire year. Now, if we figure that, if we had that in place, where we have a certain, we, we figure out our yearly GDP, once the year is over, we, we see what our yearly GDP is, and we, once we have that number, we take a certain percentage of it, whether it be 10%, 15%, we figure out what that amount is, whatever 15% is of 25 trillion, and that is what is divided amongst everybody in the entire country evenly for government spending taxation, for taxation for government spending, okay? That is the solution for government spending that has run amok. Gover there should be a bill passed that government spending should not exceed 10 or 15% of the yearly GDP of the entire country, and that amount for the year, the 15% the of the GDP for the entire year of the country, should be that amount should be divided up evenly amongst everybody in the entire country that way everyone in the entire country is being taxed the exact same amount nobody is being taxed more nobody is being taxed less everybody's being taxed the same amount that way everybody is treated evenly when it comes to government spending taxation for government spending and then once everybody has paid their their dues their their amount Everybody has their everybody has the same amount and once everybody has paid that then that is what government is allowed to spend for the year 
for government spending. Okay? That is what we should be doing. Now, if we look at government spending, here's a chart from or uh, from 2015. Government spending was 3.9 trillion. And you can see, look, it, it spent about almost over a half of a trillion dollars just on the military alone. Social Security and labor, <laughs> uh, over a trillion. Medicare and health, over a trillion. But look at these over here. We got science, energy, education, housing and community, transportation, food and agriculture. <laughs> look at, the, there's the interest on the debt. We're paying a quarter trillion dollars just in interest just to be able to use these fiat currency paper banknotes that have no value to them and we're being taxed a you know a quarter trillion of those banknotes just to be able to use them and then we got a little bit down here 2.7 trillion just for government employees and stuff now look we'll go to 2021 look at this we got net interest payments medicaid medicare Department of Defense or our military, unemployment, Social Security, and then look at this, rest of budget. <laughs> they're, they just, they're not even saying what they're spending this on. It just says rest of budget. That could be spent on any. That's probably where all the, the money that disappears is going is rest of the budget. So th this is another big red flag that government spending has gone out of control. So if we... Take Walter Williams' example of what the legitimate role of government is in a free society is all it really needs to do is protect us against anybody internationally violating our private property rights and anybody domestically trying to violate our private property rights. And besides that, besides those two main things for government to do, it also should have the role of helping us maintain our roads, bridges, you know, things that make the country function when, for everybody, not just for government, but for everybody in the country. And if people are taxed the exact same amount, a certain percentage of the GDP, and that percentage is that amount of that percentage is divided up evenly amongst everybody and everybody pays the same amount, in taxes for government spending then everybody would be treated evenly when it comes to taxation there, there wouldn't be this person spending more in taxes this person spending less in taxes there wouldn't be this person avoiding taxes you know by sending money abroad or whatever there would be none of that everybody would be taxed the same amount there would be no this person's getting this this person's not getting that nothing and it would limit the amount of government spending so government spending would not run amok. It would not be totally out of control like it is today. Today, government spending has gone completely off the charts and it is not going to lead to a good outcome. It's going to lead to the outcome of all of us being forced into compliance to whatever the government requests and if you don't comply then you will be cut off you know there's people out there who say that they 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 have nothing to hide they have nothing to fear so they just give up all the information about themselves they give up all their data everything like that all their access to all of their stuff they put that control into somebody else's hands now they're just like they can't just cut me off for no reason well no but what they can do is they can uh, they they can notice something that they do not like or they do not want in their system and they can get a little piece of paper out and write a bill saying you must comply by doing this this and that and you must comply with this or we are going to cut off your benefits we are going to cut off your universal basic income we are going to cut off your access to whatever that's how they force you into compliance to do whatever they want you to do or to not do whatever they do not want you to do. It's not that they're just going to come to you and say, we don't like what you're doing, you're cut off. 
No, it, it, it goes in more of a business fashion. They see something they don't like, they don't go up and tell you. They get a little piece of paper out and they write a bill saying that we don't want you to do this or we want you to do this and you must comply with this or else you no longer receive your government benefits or your government you know, subsidies or your government whatever. It's that That is how they force you into compliance and it's not that you... And that, and that makes it more like you're the one is going to be the cause of your you being cut off, your losing access or whatever, by not complying with what the government is trying to force you to comply with. That's the direction that we're going. Software is being taken over. Our devices and everything that we communicate with each other has already been taken over. They're trying to take over transportation. They're trying to take over food consumption of the entire country. And if we lose all of that and they force us into compliance, and if you don't comply, then you lose access to your transportation, you lose access to your electronic communications, you lose access to your universal basic income, so you can't eat and you can't have any food anymore. You are forced into compliance at that point in order for your life to continue. And that's the direction we're going in. Unless we force government into a limited amount of government spending by saying they can only have a certain percentage of our GDP. That can be 10, 15%, something like that. I think 15% is what Walter Williams recommended, or 14%, I, I don't recall. But this that is the solution for our government spending problem. And by limiting our government spending like this, this makes it so they can't go and spend whatever they want on the military, buying bullets and guns and missiles and aircraft carriers, and they just they just spend as much as they want on the military. No, they would have to really limit to what they have to purchase and what they have to spend on if they have a limited amount of spending each year and they don't get anything more other than that. They would seriously have to con like really work out what they can spend their government spending on or else the government will be out of spend out of their money to spend so that is the solution we give them a percentage of the gov of the gdp and we figure that out we divide that evenly amongst the entire country of all the people in the entire country that way everybody is taxed the exact same amount no more no less everybody has the exact same number and once everybody's paid that, then that is the government budget for the government spending for the next year. There and government better concentrate on on our pr protection of our private property rights, both nationally, internationally, and domestically, and at the same time try to maintain our bridges and roads and our infrastructure. That's what government spending should be spent on, not on the military not on whatever they feel like spending money on in the CIA or in the Department of Defense. This is how our taxation system should work. Right now, we are in a corrupted, just like totally off the chart kind of system that has just been completely out of control for I don't know how long, since before I was born, this system has been out of control. And it has gotten to a point where it is just really like almost past the point of no return. Especially since they suspended the debt ceiling. That is pretty crazy to me. I just, I, can, I cannot, I just do not understand how that is possible. How they can just suspend the debt ceiling. That means they can now spend whatever they, however much they want. <laughs> so, there, Walter Williams has a very good lecture called The Legitimate Role of Government in a Free Society. His lecture is out there on YouTube. It's free. Watch it. I recommend it. It's very good. But he didn't make it very clear what the solutions were after his lecture. I, I only kind of picked up on it during the question and answer period uh, after his lecture about government spending and how it should be limited and everybody should be... He, I don't think he mentioned the part where the, the percentage should be divided evenly amongst all the people of the country. That way everybody gets taxed the same amount. Uh, he, he only says that people should be forced to be taxed the same amount. And he mentioned in one of the, uh, in one of the answers to the questions about the GDP. But I had to put those 
put puzzle pieces together. That's why I'm making this video. So that's the solution Walter Williams came up with and what I am doing a follow-up video for. Government spending is out of control. It needs to be brought back under control. And the only way to do that is by limiting government spending to 10 or 50% of the GDP, yearly GDP. And that yearly that percentage of the GDP should be divided up amongst all the people to pay in a single payment, one-time yearly tax for government spending. And that's it. We shouldn't be taxed for anything. We shouldn't have an income tax. We shouldn't have a sales tax. We shouldn't have all these taxes that we have. None of that is legal. None of that should be legal. It should only be taxes, one-time tax payment for government spending. And that's it. Everything else is a built infrastructure of total and complete corruption. And if we don't fix it soon... We're going to be in a situation where all we can do is f is comply or we lose our beloved government benefits. You don't comply, you get cut off, and you're done. So think about that and try to imagine a world where we have one tax bill a year and that's it. And the rest of the year we get to do whatever we want with our income no income tax no sales tax none of that bullshit just one time payment tax for government spending and that payment should be a specific percentage of a yearly gdp for the country okay thank you for watching have a good day